So today is kind of a big day. I have decided to seek help for something that has been an issue since I was uh, seven. something that a lot of people don't know about me because it is a little embarrassing and makes me very vulnerable but it's real and it's my life. Um, I can remember as far back as when I was about seven and I was getting ready for school and sit down at the kitchen counter next to my dad who was eating cereal. could not sit next to him because I couldn't handle the sound that he was making eating it. It just kept kind of grew from there. People eating salad, people eating popcorn. Honestly say, when I go to the movie theater, I can hear people eating popcorn three rows back. If I can't leave the situation or the environment that I'm in, I just feel like I'm gonna go crazy. Thought it was time to see if I can seek out something that would help me manage it a little bit better. So I found a place that I hope will help me. Never done anything like this before. Interesting. So this cap it connects to the computer, so it shows like different brain waves and all the different sites on your. What if it doesn't show anything? <laughs> then your <laughs> brain's completely great. Uh, well, that's not because there's an issue. Right, right. <laughs> so this, these are your eyes in the dark. It almost, it almost drifts a little bit to the right and that bounces back to the left. It's generally a problem with the vestibular system, where one side's pushing too much and the other side's not. Mm. So I'm going to do a lot of things to try to fix that. Or tilted your head to the right, so right here to right shoulder. It actually gets worse. You notice all the dual tasking stuff is tough for you. Yeah. So saying something while you're doing something. Is else. it tough for everyone? Not everyone. Okay. To be honest. And so this should be working all the time, but now you have what's called like a limbic reaction. So the limbic system is your emotional brain, and that's deeper in here. And so you have a poor connection between these guys. You started developing this poor habit, this poor neuroplastic process when you were seven years old or maybe earlier. And then it's gotten worse throughout time because it just, this habit is now there. It's present, it's just gonna keep going. Is it genetic? Is It's not something I did. No, so. It just develops. It just develops. Right. How I'm going to treat you is I'm going to try to fix this and try to fix that. All right, so yesterday I had my three-hour neurological test with Dr. Nick at the Neurologic Wellness Center, and it was super interesting and insightful and today. I am starting my treatment, 12 days, an hour a day. Apparently, he knows the root of the problem and how to make it better, so we will see. Thanks for coming along on the journey. Okay. One. You're holding your head and we're just gonna slowly move it to the right and then you're gonna go to the right side. I said I wanted to activate that left cerebellum and the right membrane, right? And so what this is gonna do is gonna lower your heart a little to your left. RPSS was the um, sort of repetitive peripheral somatosensory stimulation, and that is the prongs. And there's three branches, V1, V2. Those three all help with decreased inflammation, um, headaches. Great. We also did the one on your wrist, which is the median nerve. They all go up into that same brainstem area, which is where your autonomics is. That's kind of where um, like rage can come out of. Mm -hmm. Then we did the breathing. And so we worked, rather than just the belly, we worked into the sides of the abdomen. The complex movements, I can do them, uh -huh. so these things, okay. Cerebellum is what coordinates thoughts, emotions, and actions. And the gyrostim, we just spun you to the left. That is the most powerful vestibular activation we can have. Besides going up into all those structures, the limbic system, which is the emotional brain. How does that happen by just me spinning? You are spinning and nothing is moving. Yeah. And so your brain knows you're spinning, but it's not getting any canceled input from your neck. All right, I just finished my first therapy. Super interesting because it really didn't seem like he did a ton, but I 
feel different. And when I went into the appointment today, I had a lot of pressure above my eyes and I have none right now. I'm super relaxed and my homework is to focus on breathing from my stomach for five minutes twice a day. So should do that. All right, treatment day number two. I'm excited for today because after I left yesterday, I was super relaxed and I had one of the best night's sleep that I had had in a long time. I had dinner, I was sitting on the couch with Jersey watching a movie and I fell into the deepest sleep, which never happens. It was like, I have a little bit of tightness in my neck on the right, but I don't know if it's really, so can't wait to see what today's gonna bring. So let's go. interactive metronome. It's classically used for like ADHD kids and like focus problems. All we're doing is trying to coordinating clap to a beat and it should be easy. Because it seems once, like it would be, right? Because once you get the beat down, yeah. you can just go at the same speed and you don't have to try to time it up each time, right? Coordinating the emotions, mm. the thoughts, and the, the actions. How do you think I did for the first time? Really good. I don't need to go in the hundreds. So this is that trigeminal nerve. V3 is the branch goes down here to your teeth. This one is the one that is kind of by your cheek. And this one wraps up and goes up above the eye. And so this is the eyebrow one that kind of takes away his head. Oh, wow. Right here is just below your ear or inside your ear. And this is where they all come together. So all of the cells are in here, but the nerves or the axons are mm -hmm. coming out of them. And then they all come back into the brain, which is just right next door. Wow. All right. Day three, feeling still pretty relaxed, but still annoyed by some sounds like the sunflower seeds at Madden's game last night. Let's see what we're gonna do today. confused with um, how many days I've been going. Yesterday when I left, um, I was frustrated. At night, I was exhausted, so I like went to bed really early. My brain was tired, I guess. I was thinking about how kind of challenging some of these things are for me and how uncomfortable it is. It doesn't mean that it's wrong. It just means you need to push through it. If you push through it and you devote your whole self to it, then when you come out the other side, you're stronger. And that goes for a lot of things in life. So I'm just gonna focus on that and hope today is a better day. It's not as easy, but I just think you, know, you can't feel yourself this much. There was one question they're gonna ask me that I was curious what your opinion was. You get the feedback, it distracts you. I want you to say every word that starts with the letter L. Live, love. Some 
you're doing a perceptive motor task, you're doing a auditory task without trying to inhibit other auditory sounds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's gonna be the same thing. All right, that was number five. Um, things were a little bit easier today. I wasn't as frustrated. I was able to think quicker um, and hold my balance longer. Yeah, I, I definitely think today was a better day, so. All right, it's day six and, or is it seven? I've been really getting all of these appointments um, jumbled together. It's my next appointment last night and yesterday and my brain was really exhausted again because um, I just think I'm using it in different ways um, Been I've been having still super vivid dreams like every morning I remember my dream which hasn't been the case for a really long time so that's kind of cool I am looking forward to doing better today I've been doing all the homework at home so we will see Alright, we have four days left in the Neurologic Wellness Institute. Four more days. I'm working hard. It seems to be getting better. We had a crunchy dinner on Friday and I didn't leave the table, so that's a win. Alright, feeling good today. We have only three more sessions before we retest, so I'm excited. All right, we're back. I only have two more sessions to go. I've actually noticed that I'm able to manage misophonia a lot better with Jersey eating an apple on the couch and not having to feel like I need to leave at dinner. my last session of the 12 sessions and I can honestly say like my goal before starting was that I'd like to have dinner with my family and not feel like I have to leave and lately I've been having dinner with my family and not feeling like I have to leave so I've been using a lot of the techniques that Dr. Nick is teaching me It's a work in progress, not totally 100%, but I'm gonna continue some work with him to hope it'll just get better and better. It's my retest day, 13th day coming here, 14th day, because the evaluation was the first day, and then 12 days, and then the reevaluation. And I can honestly say that it's definitely better. And I think the goal in the beginning was to make it 50% better. And I do believe that it's 50% better. And I have techniques to manage um, when I'm irritated, how to not leave the situation or put my AirPods in, but to manage it and face it and not leave. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited that I found this place. Dr. Nick has been amazing very thorough, um, explains everything really well, complex our, our brains are. And so um, this isn't gonna fix in 12 days, and I, I know that. But with anything, if you wanna get better at something, it's gonna take some work, it's gonna take some practice, and I'm willing to put in the work. So I'm just glad that I got off to such a good start and understand my brain a little bit better, why this is happening and how I can manage it.
lot better. So, like I said, I want this to be around 90. Okay. Which is what your first one was. Today, you don't see any movement in this line at all. And if you watch your eyes, they're rock solid. Nice. So that's perfect. Balance exercises, because that's important. Three minutes in the morning, every morning, it's super simple. That was basically my number one for you, was the breathing. Whether you do it just simple in the morning, in and out, five seconds in, five seconds out. Cool. So the next thing would be the balance exercises or the metronome um, with somebody eating behind you with some distraction. You hear it, you just take a deep breath and like put your mind to somewhere else, right? You should, they, that again should be just background noise. This is the gyro stim. The gyro stim is a way that you can basically activate the vestibular system in the greatest way possible. And so before I talk about this, the vestibular system is our most like foundational system. The jellyfish had it six million years ago so they could tell that they were bobbing up and down or, or sideways. And so as we evolve, we have this vestibular system and then all the other senses kind of pile up. Your vision, your your sound, your auditory, your smell, your touch, your fine touch, your um, your pressure, your vibration, all that piled up. This is really good for anxiety and depression because anxiety and depression a lot of times are frontal lobe, big cortical areas. So you just completed 12 days or two weeks of treatment at the Neurologic Wellness Institute. And the Neurologic Wellness Institute here in downtown Chicago is our second um, right for a second office that we started to expand and to treat a bunch of neurological patients because all of our doctors are care of institute uh, certified and that we treat misophonia which is very rare so we don't get a lot of it the first ones we got were a couple of years ago and then it started coming in more but we also treat our main um, diagnosis our main patients are going to be concussion post-traumatic uh, post trauma or post concussion syndrome, checking how your coordination is, or this mm -hmm. or this. We're checking your sensation. We did a cardiac exam, we did pulmonary, we checked everything. So we're looking at how the function of the brain is working with your body, and that's how we diagnose what areas in the brain you need to work on in order to improve your symptoms. And so we, we find objectively what's going on and say, can we relate that to the symptoms you're having? If we can, then great. If we improve the objective findings, subjectively should also come in and you should be clean. So, so we have these hardwired connections in the brain. They only become hardwired if you have it. When you're young, you learn how to write with, let's say, your right hand. The left hand becomes super hard because it's just a habit of doing something with your right hand. That is the best way to describe how neuroplasticity works. The more that you do something, the better you get at that. I thought that maybe I would document this journey in case there's anybody out there that is also embarrassed and too vulnerable to seek help for something in their life. Thank you.